Hi, I'm Jessica Scher for Herflix here at New York Women in Film and TV's Designing Women Awards 2014. These awards honor the brilliant costume designers, makeup artists, and hairstylists who make movies and television come alive. And now to the red carpet. How does it feel to be here at New York Women in Film and TV with all these wonderful, powerful women? Eveline, how does it feel? <laughs> We're honoring Eveline. That's, That's why I'm here tonight. I, I don't know what to say. I'm terrible at those things. I'm, I'm very... I'm very happy to be honored, even though there was probably like so many choices amongst you know all the talented women in New York. So yes, it feels it feels great. <laughs> and you guys have worked quite a bit together. How has that worked out? I it was horrible. <laughs> we hate each other. We did. <laughs> it worked out fine. Yeah, you know we're friends, and um, you know. I, you don't always think you're going to meet a lifelong friend when you're working, and um, I, I feel like we're lucky that we found each other. We are. And what inspires you when it comes, you have a character, what's your first inspiration that you go towards? Inspiration really comes from, you know, from reading the script and talking with the actress, we do the character, and just, if it's a period piece, looking at the era. There's many, many factors that comes into place, so. Do you think of actress first, or do you think character first? Character. Are you interested in hair, makeup, or um, wardrobe? What helps inspire your characters? I don't know. I think of character first, like Eveline said, and uh, it's it's really the the full picture. But what's unique about Eveline is she really appreciates the art, and she really uh, appreciates the creative side of it, and she really is a collaborator in helping you create that character. So, um, you know, I feel like anything that I've done with Eveline has always been heightened because of her involvement. Well, it's, it's a good thing, right? Uh, <laughs> say thank you. Um, in American Hustle, what uh, came to mind when you started working with hair and makeup there? What was your first instinct? Is it to go big or how did you come across your... Because it stands out amongst many other films. Um, I just wanted it to look real, actually. You know, whether it was big or not. I just wanted it to look appropriate to the period and, you know, to the, to the character that, port that were portrayed in the movies because it takes place in New Jersey and, and it's been over like five years. So I just wanted to be really accurate of like what this woman, what kind of makeup she would wear, what the guys, you know, would, would do as far as like the sideburns and, you know, their facial hair in general. So not so much big, just real. <laughs> Real's good. No, we like real. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's what makeup does. It helps uh, inspire real people. And what do you think are your strengths? What do you bring to the set? My French flair, I don't know. <laughs> My laissez fair attitude. <laughs> she totally does. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Congratulations to all our honorees, and thank you for watching Herflix. You've been watching a Herflix moment.